All right, so as you guys might have heard, the Fizz LR Super Saiyan Trunks' Extreme Z Awakening will be dropping on Global in just over five days from now. So in today's video, I want to give you guys all the details you need about this EZA to get you guys as uh, ready as possible. Okay, so uh, we're starting here with the Extreme Z Battle event, and they haven't actually updated the global release time, but I believe it should be... Let's see, uh, March 9th, March 9th, 2022. So like I said, very soon. And the weakness for the Extreme Z Battle event is the Space Traveling Warriors category. And just like every other uh, LR Extreme Z Battle so far, having the Legendary Power Link activated will allow you to deal a lot more damage to the Trunks. So obviously, you want to bring as many LR units as you possibly can. And taking a look at the actual stages, uh, there are only 10 levels in total that you need to clear to get all the Extreme Z Awakening medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken the LR Trunks. And for each stage clear, you get three Dragon Stones, you get some uh, EZA medals, and also a bunch of Fizz Orbs. So after you clear the initial 10 levels, you'll be looking at uh, 45 Extreme Z Awakening medals, five uh, Fizz Grand Kai's, 30 Dragon Stones, as well as enough Fizz Orbs to rainbow a Fizz unit. And there's also one additional mission for three more stones. Uh, and all you gotta do is uh, clear stage seven of the event, which for some people might be, you know, easier said than done since um, you do need to have a decent number of space traveling warriors units. So taking a look at the category here, um, it's not that hard to build a full LR team and uh, you also have some good LR or STR LRs here like the uh, Turles, the Full Power Frieza, the First Form Frieza, um, the Beerus and Whis can deal some really good damage. Um, E-Pen might not be the best choice but she should be a pretty good tank so she could also be a good inclusion. And then otherwise uh, you got LR Bardock, you got LR Jiren, you got Full Power Frieza and so on and so forth. Now. Um, you could bring TURs as well, and it's not a terrible choice to bring some, you know, STR TURs in the Space Traveling Warriors category, but just note that they will be doing a lot less damage compared to the LRs when they're linked with other LRs to get the uh, Legendary Power boost, okay? So yeah, that is the Space Traveling Warriors category. Now, unlike some of the um, TUR Extreme Z Battle events, there is no increased damage reduction against any other type, but of course, uh, you don't want to be bringing any int types because you have type disadvantage there and you're going to be taking a lot more damage with int type units. So yeah, just stay away from the units in this column and everybody else should be their game. And this is actually a pretty substantial category, I would say. So um, you do have a lot of options when it comes to team building and hopefully you guys are able to at least put together a decent team to challenge this event. So that is the Fizz LR Trunks Extreme Z Battle event. If you guys aren't able to beat the uh, you know 10 levels when the event first comes out, it's not a big deal. Um, it's pretty normal for people to you know take some time to actually get all the medals. Uh, so you might just have to wait until you get a better Space Traveling Warriors team to you know get them done. But yeah, let's move on to the actual unit itself now the fizz lr super saiyan trunks who is uh definitely my favorite of the original five lrs that would be intel or gohan uh agl majin vegeta the uh tech lr rose and zamasu the int gohan and this guy and he is my favorite just because his card represents probably my favorite moment or at least one of my favorite moments in the anime so yeah, starting with his pre-EZA details, his leader skill is Fizz Types Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, 12 key super attack, colossal damage, and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns, 18 key super, causes mega colossal damage, and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. Passive, attack plus 120%, and high chance to perform a critical. So just like all of the other OGLRs, the one thing you might have noticed that is missing from his passive is defense. 
Now luckily, he did have this 30% increase for 3 turns on his 12 and 18 key supers, so he was actually one of the tankier OGLRs, but with that said, he was still very, very lacking on defense. So of course, the easy 8 does address that. His new leader skill with the Extreme Z Awakening is Fizz Types Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, 12 key super, Colossal Damage, and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. Uh, 18k super causes mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. New passive is attack plus 150% up from 120% and defense plus 100%. Key plus 3 plus an additional attack plus 50% when attacking extreme class enemies. High chance to perform a critical hit plus an additional key plus 3, or sorry, uh, key plus 5 and performs a critical hit when there is a wicked bloodline category enemy. So uh, yeah, 30% more attack, 100% more defense, 3 more turns of defense raising on the 12 and 18 key supers, and then another key plus 3, an additional attack plus 50% against extreme class enemies, so he hits much harder against uh, extreme or villain enemies. And then uh, high chance to perform a critical hit, so 50% chance to crit, which is the same as before, but if you're facing a wicked bloodline enemy like Frieza, Cooler, uh, King Cold, so on and so forth, then he gets 5 more key and guaranteed crits. So uh, this Trunks is very good. He is very good, but I feel like he could have been better. I gotta be honest, and it hurts me to say that because, like I told you guys, um, he is definitely my favorite of the original 5LRs, and I wish he was the best, but he's not quite on the same level as uh, LR Broly. Um, I think he's probably closer to like LR Bardock in terms of performance, which is very, very good, but I just, I just think his defense could have been more impressive, you know? Like, why is he only getting 100% defense on his passive instead of attack and defense plus 150%, right? Like 150 to both. Um, and then, you know, it's nice he's getting more defense, or at least, you know, more stacks of defense on his 12 and 18 key supers, but it still doesn't make him that tanky. Like, he's going to be tanky enough for most events, but when it comes to, you know, later on in the GZ Legendary Goku event, or Legendary Vegeta event, or Extreme Super Battle Road, um, he could still take a lot of damage from super attacks, so... He's not a super reliable tank, in my opinion. I think he's gonna uh, definitely show his age sooner than he probably should, right? Like over the course of a year or so, his defense will just not age that well. So um, yeah, he's gonna hit really hard for sure. He puts up big, big numbers, but his defense I think is a bit lacking for an easy A that is coming out in this day and age, um, I don't know man, like I'm not super disappointed by any means, I still think he's really, really good, I'm still super excited for this EZA, but that's just really how I feel about it man, I wish he was more future proof, I wish his defense was more solid, but at the very least, it's gonna be really fun to see him put up massive numbers, especially against uh, wicked bloodline enemies like Frieza, so... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, guys. I can't wait. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this Biz LR Trunks Easy A. And uh, I'll see you guys on the stream in five days when the Extreme Z Battle event comes out. And of course, I'll be doing a showcase on the channel as well. So uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.